Hey, what's going on guys? It's Sam, or XJaws, and today you guys are about to witness some of the worst annihilation of Call of Duty players ever. So uh, before we get into this gameplay and talking about all that good stuff, I want to preface this entire video by saying this. These players were horrific. They were fairly new to the game. These guys weren't level 1s, but they were uh, not prestige. They were somewhere between level 20 and 40, I'm pretty sure, and they were terrible. Now, I'm not claiming that anybody could have gone in this game and done this. I'm just saying that this was definitely a case of me being able to do what I did, mostly because of the fact that these players were terrible. So, uh, please do not leave a comment and say, you know, I only play against bad players and that's how I get these good games. I, I do just fine against people who are prestige to get games with 20 KDs, but game a game like this, this is only possible when playing against players who are bad so uh, I just want to you know kind of push that you know right out of the way in the beginning of this commentary I am NOT claiming that you know I had some sort of enormous amount of skill when playing uh, this particular game um, so please don't get on me about that so uh, let's get into this gameplay so uh, this is some jungle demolition and you guys know demolition has got to be the, the most important and uh, spawn trapping and kill streak annihilation and jungle goes hand in hand with that as a big map that you know kill streaks are going to dominate on and when you combine that with a player um, who can do fairly well like myself and some players who cannot do fairly well like the guys I was playing against uh, you end up with a game like this and I was using the um, the blackbird the um, chopper gunner and the gunship so you guys know there was some major annihilation or there is some major annihilation uh, coming your way uh, soon in this video so uh, let me tell you guys a little bit about how I played this game so um, my mentality the first round of this game was, hey, listen, you know, these guys on the enemy team, before I really realized how truly bad they were, because they all had the same clan, clan tag, or at least five of them, the, five of them were in a party, and then there was one guy, just a random guy, and uh, I figured, you know, maybe these guys started second accounts, I don't know, but clearly they didn't, because this was very, very um, bad for them. Um, but anyway, um, when I got into this game, I was like, listen, you know, maybe my teammates can't plant the bomb because I joined a little bit late, saw the levels on the enemy team, and I was like, you know, maybe I can give my teammates a little bit of support um, if I can build up some kill streaks and allow them to plant the bomb. And that's exactly what I was able to do. I, I built up some air support and called in a chopper gunner in the first round. Um, you'll see in a little bit here, um, there's going to be like a minute left in the game. And I call my chopper gunner, and I'm like, all right, I'm going to call in this chopper gunner. I'm going to kill two or three people who are kind of roaming around the bomb site uh, because, as you can see, we've already destroyed B we just need to get an A plant on and right here you know I probably could have called in my uh, gunship and helped out a little bit with keeping them off it um, but I figured that if I just kept them away from this you know one area I could do just that uh, just almost as effectively um, but what ends up happening is my teammates towards the end of this round just completely ignore going for the bomb absolutely outright ignore going for the bomb and I know a lot of people will say hey you know you weren't playing the objective either and by the way this is a cool grenade I'll, I'll make a video about because that is an extremely helpful grenade right there that I just got a double kill with um, but a lot of people are gonna be saying that hey I wasn't playing the objective and this first round was a little bit more about keeping them away from the bomb and allowing my teammates to plant because if you notice right here I'm the only teammate you know I'm the only guy on my team who's kind of controlling uh, this area right here this huge area and I was using this kind of shelf right here that I'm on right now uh, I think it's you know great cover and uh, great um, line of sight right to the a bomb and I was just kind of trying to keep them uh, from coming towards this way but what ends up happening is they're spawning even closer to the a bomb so it was actually counterproductive to helping us win but at the time I didn't really realize that I was like all right I'm getting lots of kills here um, and I was helping out my team in that fashion but nonetheless um, this game I was using my favorite kill streak or my favorite not kill streaks out of my favorite um, uh, class setup, which uh, you guys will probably see uh, less and less videos with as I move forward uh, making videos because I'm trying to move away from making videos with the exact same class setup every single time, even though I would recommend this for most people. Um, it's the FMOS with a dual mag um, attachment, and the reason why I go with the dual mag is because I'm fairly good with the iron sights. I prefer a green dot sight, the, the sight that I talked about in, I believe, um, a couple of videos ago. I don't know. I think it, I, I might have to talk about uh, reticles in the future. Um, right here is where I called in the chopper gunner. Excuse me, we have a minute left, and I just absolutely annihilate these guys, and my teammates just, uh, whatever, we're not going to go for the bomb, we'll, we'll deal with it later, but nonetheless, it ends up, uh, we, we end up winning the game, but, um, yeah, the, the dual mag attachment is going to give you 60 extra rounds with the FAMAS, which is huge when going for high kill streaks, like, I, I'm running the Blackbird, 
uh, the chopper gunner and the gunship. And I don't know 100%. Like, I didn't actually look. But I'm sure if uh, any of you guys were to rewind this video and watch each time when I get my uh, kill streaks, that I'm probably on those last 60 bullets or nearing those last 60 bullets. So frequently, you know, I will end up needing that ammo to end up getting a kill streak. And I'm sure uh, I have died hundreds of, or not hundreds, I've died quite a bit um, when I'm you know, not using that ammo, when I'm not using dual mags. Uh, because of the fact that I was, you know, going around looking for a gun on the ground, trying to pick up, trying to continue that kill streak. So dual mag comes in handy all the time. Um, now that I think about it, I'm trying to remember if I actually, yeah, I was using hardline uh, seven kill streak for that blackbird right there. Um, the hardline perk, I just love it. I used to like be really big into like getting hardline pro and using care packages for search and destroy. Um, I've probably used like 50 care packages or something like that, not a ton, so don't think I'm like a whore for those. But uh, lately, I just haven't been using them whatsoever. Haven't you know uh, used care packages? So hardline pro really isn't that uh, beneficial. Right there, by the way, guys. Uh, I because I recorded this in theater mode and because it was so long, I actually had to uh, end the one film and start a new film. That's how long it was. Um, so there's a reason why uh, I had to you know switch over there. Um, wasn't like changing anything bad or anything. Uh, but right there, you saw I just finished up my uh, chopper gunner and guess what we like we actually lost that round and now i have a blackbird as my first kill streak and i'm like all right i'm gonna call in this blackbird right away i'm gonna be on defense gonna defend some bomb sites and we're gonna get defense twice because if you guys don't know um the team that has the most kills uh collectively is the team that's going to get defense um this goes the same for the overtime round in both demolition and search and destroy so i knew that you know if i could just rate these guys enough i wouldn't have to worry about me or my teammates planting the bomb in an overtime time round because of the fact that we would clearly have the most kills I think I wouldn't even need any more kills at the point that I'm at right now that's how bad these guys were and that's how many kills I was getting so as you can see right here I'm just using uh, this cover and this is what Wings of Redemption talks about a lot uh, people who are typically bad players will throw stuns and flashes and all that at you uh, before they actually go in for the gunfight see like they, they just keep throwing them at me and uh, eventually they get me because I had to back away from that area because of the stuns and flashes and that's why I've decided to recently work on getting Tactical Mask Pro. Uh, if you guys watch his videos, he recently did that, and he claims it's the best perk in the game. And I will let you guys know what I think about it once I get Tactical Mask Pro and maybe combine that with Flak Jacket, which he mentioned. So we'll see how that goes. Um, right there, a uh, gunship, and uh, then I think I go out and I try and get a little bit more of a kill streak. I saw that my teammates were actually getting pushed back away from A, and this is, yeah, see right here, they get the plant on A. And I'm like, all right, well, it's time for me to clearly put a little bit more emphasis on defending specific bombs rather than raping them just for a little bit here. So that's what I tried to do. I didn't want my team to lose. A lot of people probably will tell me that I'm, again, not an objective player. But right here, I could have easily called in my chopper gunner, but I didn't I, would, I didn't want to rely on my teammates to go ahead and defuse the bomb because I wasn't sure if they were going to. So I ended up pushing up here, killing some people. And I think my teammate, uh, my teammates uh, actually die as well as me die. I'm trying to remember this game. Yeah, right there, I die. I get headshotted by a sniper sitting all the way in the back. And there just wasn't enough time. But, you know, I, there you go. I, I was seriously trying to, you know, defuse that bomb. Uh, but just couldn't make it over there, which is unfortunate. So, uh, nonetheless, I got these chopper gunners and going to go to town with them. So, this is... God, it, it's a very long game, and it's a lot of the same exact strategy. Play defensively, rape their spawn, and, and absolutely annihilate them. And I thought I'd talk a little bit about the patch that's coming up soon, uh, because if you guys don't know, the patch is going to be uh, nerfing the chopper gunner, the gunship, and the Valkyrie missiles, of all things. The, the Valkyrie rockets, excuse me. And I think that's... Um, you know, obviously not needed, but I don't really use them that much, so hey, who cares? Um, but the patch, if you don't know uh, what's coming, there's quite a few things coming, which I'm not going to talk about everything. Uh, but one of the things that's coming that's you know pretty important is that they're going to be uh, delaying the appearance of the little red diamonds when people are spawning, and I think that is going to be annoying to say the least. But what I think is going to end up happening is that you're going to have you know one guy who's going to spawn his red diamond is going to pop up and then even though there's other guys around him without red diamonds you're going to see where that area is and as people spawn on top of that same area for a couple seconds you're going to be able to go to town on people not just the same but pretty close to it and you won't have too much trouble with stuff like that so i honestly am not too worried about this patch i know a lot of people are saying like oh it'll, it'll be the death of the gunship it'll be the death of the chopper gunner like people
people won't use him anymore. It'll be all about the attack dogs and Blackbird and UAV. And I agree that that's a good kill streak setup, and that is uh, definitely a possibility. But time will tell. Um, for those of you who don't know, this patch is in. I, I think they said it went into second stage on December 6th, and from there it's supposed to take uh, between like 10 and you know 15 days or something like that I don't know um, so it should be coming sometime in the next week or two weeks so uh, you can look forward to that if you're somebody who would be interested in the kill streaks not being as powerful which is something that I think you know is kind of I don't know I'd like to hear your guys input on this I'm not gonna make an outright statement of what I feel about this but I will you know ask you guys at least what you guys think uh, do you feel that it's okay to have kill streaks that require um, eight, nine, uh, or yeah, eight, nine, and eleven kill streaks that can be taken out by people who get uh, three kills in a row for like a Sam turret, or get no kills with like a um, Estrella three. That's just my thought. Um, a while ago on my channel, I talked about my thoughts on Ghost and how I was like, hey, you know, Ghost is um, you know a little bit not overpowered I never said that I just thought it was a little bit unfair how ghost could be used in this fashion where you know hey the enemy gets or you get a three kill streak um, get your UAV and then the enemy just you know has ghost and you know they're invisible on the UAV and then your three kill streak is wasted and people kind of expressed to me hey listen you know that three kill streak that's you know for your entire team and you it only required a three kill streak two with hardline so it's not really that hard so you shouldn't get that much of a reward but when you're talking about things like chopper gunners um, I guess Valkyrie rockets if you want to go there and gunships I think you kind of deserve that and I think it's a little bit tough and uh, people recently Wings of Redemption, Woody's Gamertag, Hutch and Kyle were talking about it on their podcast how maybe the gunship ha should have three flares and maybe the chopper gunner should have two flares which means it would take three rockets to take out the uh, or three strellas to take out the chopper gunner and four to take out the gunship and I know that sounds like a lot but think about it then you know taking down rockets will have to be a team effort it won't be a one guy gets it and you know one guy can just kind of take care of it in less than 30 seconds so that's just something that I found interesting and want to know you guys input on I'm not gonna say outright what I think on it or what I don't think I think it is interesting regardless um, so anyway guys uh, this game is coming to an end right here um, this last round we did not allow them to plant with my gunship and my chopper gunner up in the air they were able to do absolutely nothing uh, finish this game up run into the spawn get on like a nice little like five six I don't know kill streak and uh, man, this was a really fun game to play. Uh, it was hopefully a really fun game for you guys to watch. The final score was 187 kills and 11 deaths. And I just think that is an insane score regardless of how I played or regardless of how the uh, enemy team uh, was, how bad they were. So I hope you guys will please give this video a like rating if you enjoyed.